Peace Coffee was born out of conversations with coffee farmers. The Institute for Agriculture and Trade Policy was looking at ways um, to, to make international trade more just and, and to create better uh, policies for family farmers in, in the United States. Someone came to them and, and began to make the case, you know what, if you're going to talk about these policies, what you really need to do is actually demonstrate that these policies are a viable business model. So they imported their first container of coffee from Mexico. And when that container of coffee got here, they began looking at roasting the coffee and selling it. And after they paid the farmers what the farmers had asked for the coffee and what the farmers thought was a fair price, and they'd turned around and sold the coffee, um, they realized they had a profit left over. And they began thinking, wow, we're really onto something here. This was in the mid-90s, so fair trade as a concept hadn't gained a lot of traction in the United States. They were really on the forefront of that. We want to see what we can do to help out the smaller coffee farmers that don't have infrastructure, could use a hand. Um, all of our coffees that we buy are organic and fair trade certified. We've had the LX900 for just about a year, not even, and we were really looking for something to increase the flexibility of our production. We knew that we were going to be offering more limited run, shorter term coffees in the next couple of years, so we started shopping around. So limited quantity is very small lots of coffee that don't have a lot of use and we can't really let those go. We don't have any way to market them. So now we can create a specific label for four bags of coffee that would come in that we wouldn't even be able to entertain that before. One bag of coffee that comes in, we can create a special sticker. 30 bags that come in, we can create a special sticker. If a small little cafe down the street wants their own little blend, we can create them a special little sticker. So that is basically at, like, enabled us to add on these new blends this season. You know, one of the things for us is we're really trying to connect people to the places that the coffee comes from um, and to the idea that coffee is an agricultural product. And so when you have to buy really big label runs, you're boxing yourself and you don't have a lot of flexibility. Um, what this allows us to do is, is, is tell the story more and it gives us the flexibility that we want to have in terms of being able to change up our blends in order to, to be able to tell people more information about the product. We're putting QR codes on the back of the labels and those QR codes allow people to, to snap that QR code and, and go to a website that actually tells them exactly where that coffee came from and the whole backstory behind it. And so that, that's what the label printer is allowing us to do.